sequence. I'm looking to get that down the hip again. Pump my foot on the mat, the spider hook, stretch them out. The hook in. Again, I wasn't specific about being heavy with this foot, so carts do that. So again, from here, I have to be careful. And we look about what he does and disengages that. But for a car to disengage, he needs to drive that D4 and pop that out. So if you watch what he did, he drove with this leg. So I kind of want to stop that. So from here, and I want to keep sleeve control because that gives me lots of options to, to transition to sit up car. And we're going to work two sweeps in the rear one tonight. So for me to stretch the car out, I'm going to take off my spider hook and I just put it on this thigh. Pushing back this way. I'm manufacturing that same response. Remember, we talked about if Carl wasn't driving into me, I'm sitting up. Yeah. So I'm I'm making him go backwards with this foot on the on his thigh. So I keep that grip. On the second I drive him back, I'm actually setting up to set up car. This Della he comes out and he just put the foot behind the back of his head. So from there, I have two options in the sweeping. On this side or this side, so we're going to tighten this up first. Okay, so from there I'm just going to pass yeah, this hand behind his leg. I rake that go with the sleeve. I make the grip. Push my hand on the mat. Push my foot on the mat. And now it's just time to get standing. So from there, right foot's on the mat. Left foot hooks. Just to go in here. Dropping in the combat base. And again, from this position, I like this grip on the hand. Because now from there I just find the hip. Way too much with the pass. Let's concentrate on the sweep. Okay. So from the combat base, see the setup, big open guard, pulling in the loses, my spider hook in, I get it down the heap hook in, pump my left foot, stretch them out, create space in the back and need to get this hook in. But I wasn't going to sit there being happy and car stands up. And I don't want him driving into me, which will pop out that hook. And we'll cover that if he does. So I'm going to manufacture the response, pushing them back, which means I'm coming forward, which we talked about a couple of weeks back. So this foot that's on the bicep goes on the inside of the snag, and we just push it back, so transitioning from the other to the other part. From there, it's hard to keep your delahima again, so I just keep that heel tight behind the back of the seat. Okay. So now I can, I can hit the ball and see it on this side, or move it tight and stand up sweep. So from there, I just let go of the sleeve, pass it to my right hand, push my right hand on the mat, left hand's on the mat, and it's just that tightening a stand up. So from there, it goes up. And from here, because I've got control, and the car has no um, way of stopping with this hand, and even if he keeps his hand on my shoulder, so he's uh, so my no worker with your See the way he's made a profile there? Just take, this, take that profile away by turning my shoulder. Back step. Anyone who's in the first time class, we're in control for that position. Come back in the two. One more time. If it's back and car starts driving the knee forward, this sucks big time. Be tight to his knee. If you do this a few times, when he does that, you'll be here the whole time. Okay. So from there, okay, I want to make sure that I've made a, a, a frame with my hand and this foot is back. Across my bro. So when you're, because I've made a connection with my body to this leg, this base is very easily messed with. So from there, I just do time to so this. Again, if he makes a frame, there, I just turn. So it's just basically that drill. 
Okay, so.